How could I describe old Diego Ultimate Fighter to new and improved 2.0 Diego? Maybe like 3.70 Diego. I'm still the same lion inside this heart. I just just learned a lot, moved on, and continued to, to get better. Remains. Oh, head and kick again! Oh, Luis is in trouble! Oh, big oh, knee! Big knee! No Trying to finish again! That's it! It is all over! Wow! Diego Sanchez is back for sure! For me, it's never been about the money or the fame. It's always been the challenge of competition. And I embrace it, I love it. The lightweight division is, in my opinion, the most stacked division in all of mixed martial arts. I've competed from 185 down to 145, and at 155, with the discipline and the dedication and the experience, 155 is where I belong, and I'm still continuing to challenge myself. You know, Marching Held is a jiu-jitsu black belt. He's a very, very good jiu-jitsu fighter. But this is the thing. This is not a jiu-jitsu fight. This is a mixed martial arts fight, and my mixed martial arts is better, and I'm 100% confident that him and his jiu-jitsu is gonna be debunked. And to fight here in Mexico City, the altitude, the opponent, I'm thrilled to fight for the Mexican fans. I love Mexico City. I love the thin air out here. I don't fear it, I embrace it. And I'm here to overcome and conquer. I don't know what this guy is mentally doing to prepare for it, but he's in for a nightmare. The fans want a nightmare, and I give the fans a nightmare. What you can expect from Diego Sanchez in the future is exactly what I'm doing right now. Kicking ass and taking names. Sign done, I'm having fun. On Saturday night, Mexico City, they're gonna get nightmare 100%. Marching held, he's gonna get nightmare. 110%. I'm the predator, he's the prey.